Gemini. Hello. That was pretty dramatic beginning. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing good. Time for your December reading. Um, I'm going to be doing a New Year reading. I'm not going to do like a December to January one because, you know, pick that shit up. Something new, right? Great. I prefer it that way at times. So we're going to do it that way and hopefully everyone will enjoy it. I hope you guys definitely like knowing things. You're very curious about the world, I feel like. So it makes you quite romantic. You want to know things. So, as usual, we're going to begin your reading right about now. Okay, no whammies. Beginning theme is going to be a page of wands, a Sagittarius Leo Aries, someone who might be mature about delivering a message, I feel like. Just out of freaking nowhere, is just, that's the first thing that comes up um, in my head. Like, they're really shitty about delivering messages or even going places. They're kind of uh, about that. You know? Like, maybe they're not very talkative, I feel like. Like, lack of action or something. Right? I don't know. It, it, like, that's that's the weird vibe I'm getting. It's like they're not capable of like really, like they're like like they're a fire sign, but they're shy. <laughs> like they like, but once you get to know them, like they're very talkative and they like saying things. So we got a page of cups up here, who is also immature <laughs> in how they deal with people. They are very um. They're not being, I feel like they're not being very nice. Like, they're kind of lying. Like, they're trying to entice you more than they are actually expressing their feelings. I think just to see if you'll do it or not. Like, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer type? Or just someone emulating that? Or they're just having that energy of just somebody it just pretending to be interested rather than actually being. And it could be a Cancer who's really out of balance right here. Because that's Cancer's card, the Chariot. They might be out of balance, they may not be paying attention. Like look, there's a Chariot, there's a Chariot. Like, and someone's afraid of that Cancer type or the person carrying that Cancer energy. But th this person's definitely out of whack and not being honest. And here's someone like just accidentally tossing that cup over and be like, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. And I guess they tried to sneak away, <laughs> and they got caught, because they left evidence behind or some shit. Ooh. Okay. So, with the Seven of Wands over here, right? Or someone feels like they are stuck in a situation they really can't get out of, and is just going all to shit. That is a possible fresh new perspective, or they're going to come upon, like, some truth manner that might help them see a little bit more clearly. And what's going against them in all this is, like, almost a breakup in a relationship of some sort. Where someone's actually delivering that news. Like, look. Like, this person's actually delivering the news. But over here, someone isn't delivering the news. Like, this person's talking, but this person is not talking. And they're the same fucking person. And they're both facing the future. Like, this per they're going to deliver some sort of information. Or they're going to be traveling somewhere. Or they might even try to event go to an adventure somewhere after, like, possibly this split happens. But then they're not. And then they ain't gonna say shit. So it's like, what the fuck was the point of all of this? <laughs> it's just like, why did you even bother? And that's like... I feel like... That is almost a fresh perspective part, too. Because with this chariot person, um... 
they're trying to gain their identity, I feel like. Or they're trying to figure themselves out with the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe they feel like they're really rich. Or maybe someone's afraid that they have money and they're balanced. But in reality, they're just lying about that balance. And they're lying about what they're trying to do. They're just trying to entice for their own pleasure, not because they mean something serious. And it kind of fucks with you a little bit. And you're afraid that, like... Oh, like, is someone afraid that they're going to, like, miss out on someone with a lot of money? Because, you know, that's all nice and dandy. But what if they're a psycho? <laughs> like, are you... Like, I wouldn't be upset about an opportunity that went away, either. Especially if there was having to be some sneaking around doing. Someone might even be apologizing and it didn't go their way. With the scenario as well. Like, really feel like someone's going to communicate that they want to break up. But then they don't say nothing and, and don't go anywhere. And then, look, the catalyst and the final result, right? Healing needed. And I feel like someone's blocking that out with the four of pentacles. Like, someone doesn't want to take the time. <laughs> like, they need to get their money stacked up because they're worried about money up here. Like, they don't want to... Like, this is Aquarius's card, too, right? They don't want to think about that. They got to worry about their money. Like, that's not a concern for them. But it's like they're afraid they're going to miss out on even more money. Like, because this person's got nine and he's only got four. But he's also a fucking psychopath, probably. And doing shit that's, like, really not productive. And here is the ending thing. <laughs> Someone wants to walk on to better things, but they ain't going nowhere. They're saying they're going somewhere after a breakup happens, but they don't go anywhere. So it's like, why the fuck are you, why, why, why are you talking? Uh, you ain't talking it now. You're still here. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, like, with all your stuff packed. Like, you're not going anywhere. You know you're not going anywhere. And that might actually be the, um, perspective of you're not going anywhere despite all this happening, right? Jesus, fuck, Geminis. Like, that's ridiculous. And look, now someone's, like, having to go into themselves and look at this perspective and realize shit be whack, yo. Like, they're actually taking the time. Could be a Virgo, too. They might have a lot of introspection going on. They might be analyzing a lot. Because that's what Virgos do best. They analyze and judge like a motherfucker. And there is going to be a clean slate new journey. A leap of faith in this situation. Right? Before. Hmm. Quite a number of majors. I have to say. Nearly half. What's the last advice card I can give Gemini? Ooh. And there's going to be some getting some work done. Look at the Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. Look at all of those Pentacles. That is beyond ten. Someone's really going to be working on some shit in the end. Maybe themselves. Maybe with a job. Something. But someone is definitely um, working on some stuff. They just need to keep weighing their options, right? So at least... There is some good in this reading, um, but I but I still feel like this didn't end well for a reason. Well, it doesn't matter if it ended because nobody's going anywhere, so I don't know. Bye, Gemini. Y'all have a good one.